Well, Natasha, the water was off limits, but all the action was right here on the boardwalk today. And despite the beautiful breezy weather, the Red Cross was also out here today, making sure people were prepared in case the weather took a turn. The threat of Hermine kept thousands of vacationers away from the Jersey Shore on what's typically one of the busiest weekends of the summer. So we were a little concerned about coming down with the storm, but we thought we'd give it a try considering it was the last weekend and it's been absolutely beautiful. Those who took a chance and stayed were rewarded. Absolutely gorgeous out. It's not too hot and no bugs. Can't beat it. Little by little, the boardwalk came alive and Next thing you know, it felt like a, a regular day at the beach and we forgot everything about the weather. Though the sun was shining, the water was still strictly off limits. Patrolling officers made sure that people stayed far away from the dangerous surf conditions and strong rip currents. But in a place like Wildwood, there are plenty of other ways to have fun. You can actually work, walk on the boardwalk and take advantage of it. You're not shoulder to shoulder, you're not bumping into everybody. No lines for the rides. No lines for the rides. <laughs> the kids love that. We're hoping the storm doesn't impact the shore, but we are in the middle of hurricane season. Red Cross volunteers took advantage of the calm to remind people that even if Hermine doesn't ultimately pack a punch, we're not quite out of the woods just yet. It's an important reminder that we have to be vigilant about preparedness, and now is the time to prepare. Now is the time to take those three simple steps of getting that kit, making that plan, and being informed. If not for this storm, then you're ready for the next one that may come our way. And some people actually took advantage of all the people leaving with the threat of Hermine. One man just came up and told me that he got a presidential suite this weekend for just $70 a night. But for now, we're live in Wildwood. I'm Trying Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Very nice. Thank you very much, Trang. We appreciate that.